Hey y'all, today we're doing chicken breast stuffed with jalapeno popper mix. So y'all come on back. Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we are going to take some really fat, thick chicken breast. I'm going to pound them down a little bit. We're going to not quite butterfly them, almost. And then we're going to take some cream cheese, some fresh jalapenos, some Colby Jack cheese, mix it up and stuff them. I'm going to wrap a little bit of bacon around it because I do want the chicken to get some smoked flavor. So. I'm gonna do a little bit of prep. Y'all come on back. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. It's hot right now here in North Texas. So I went ahead and prepped up three of these stuffed chicken breasts. Let me just recap what's in the stuffing. Basically cream cheese, chopped fresh jalapenos, and some Colby Jack cheese. I don't measure, do whatever. It's got an eight ounce block, two fresh jalapenos, and a handful of the cheese mix it up and that should be good so let me show you how i did this so you're just about gonna butterfly this big old fat chicken breast it's a little slick so we're gonna cut it come on i'm gonna need you to behave here we go it's not cooperating like the others did but hey like I said, it's hot. Nothing cooperates here in North Texas in August. So we're just going to get this laid out kind of flat like this. And I'm going to pound it. I'm going to pound it down a little bit. I don't have a mallet. I thought I had a bigger rolling pin, but this will do. So we're just going to beat this bad boy down. Bling in chicken. My bad. Just going to thin it out a little bit. That should be good. And then we're going to take this cream cheese stuff here. And we're just going to put it in here and mash it down. Get it all up in there. Now, I've done bacon wrapped pork loins and somebody made a comment and it actually kind of made sense because I wrapped that pork loin completely in bacon and they said, well, what's the point of that? The bacon's already smoked. You're not getting any smoke flavor to the pork. Good point. So that's why we're just doing a little crisscross of bacon. I like the bacon. We're going to get the flavor on there. But we're going to leave the chicken open so the chicken can get the smoke flavor. See? See how that works? We're going to try it. Hey, you never know. Okay, so now we're going to fold this chicken up just like that. Take a couple of slices of bacon. I'm going to crisscross. Bring this bad boy up. Where you go? Where you go? I'm gonna go ahead and secure it with a toothpick because this is a big one. Get another slice of bacon. I'm gonna do it like so. That way we get a little of the bacon fat on the chicken. Hey, bacon fat's good. Fat equals flavor. Okay, then we're gonna season. And y'all, I just realized I forgot to season the chicken breast before I stuffed it. It'd be all right. It'd be all right, because we're going to season it now. And I'm using Atkins Western Style Barbecue Seasoning. Good for beef, pork, poultry, pretty much whatever. It's real good. So we're going to season this up nice since I didn't season the inside of it. Oops, my bad. Bacon. Flip it over, get the chicken and the bacon. So these are gonna go on the Traeger at 225. 
for about two hours until they get up to an internal temp of 150 to 155. And then we're gonna pull them off and let them rest until they get up to an internal temp of about 160. I'm gonna secure this with a few more toothpicks because this stuffing is gonna get ooey gooey goozy. Yeah, goozy's the word. I just made it up, but whatever. We're gonna toothpick these up and then we're gonna get them on the traper. Okay, y'all, there's no easier way to do this than just with your bare hands. So, cause these are big, fat, and whatever. That's what soap and water's for. So this one's going on. This one's going on. This one's going on. We're gonna put a little fresh jalapeno on each one of them. Trust me, I know I'm not gonna rub my eyes before I wash my hands. Yep, yep. Jalapeno. There we go. 225, two hours, up to an internal temp of 150 to 155. And then we take them off and we rest them until the internal temp gets up to 160. Y'all come on back. We'll check them in about an hour. So these guys went a little bit longer than I thought they should, or I thought they would. Um, two and a half hours. Let's check the temp. Well, they look good. There we go. It's more in the chicken. Okay. Oops. That's all goops. So, you know what? I'm gonna take these off. Okay, so the chicken is off of the Traeger. We did it at 225 for a couple hours, two hours. Uh, got the internal temp up to about 150, 155. Took it off, let it rest. Temperature's gonna climb up a little bit more until you get to about 160. So now let's give it a bite. Oh, oozy goozy cheesy stuff coming out of there. I stuffed it with some cream cheese, some Colby Jack, and fresh chopped jalapenos. Put a couple of slices of bacon around it for extra measure. And now we're going in for the bite. Get a little bit of everything. You get a little bit of the crunch from the fresh jalapeno. Not a lot of heat. Um, I seeded the jalapenos. I'm not, I'm not that adventurous anymore. Um, you could stuff this with any combination of cheeses that you want, anything really. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. We want to hear from you. See the description below for details and helpful links to what we covered today. Hit that notification bell so you are alerted when we publish new videos. Check out our website at motherofsmoke.com for the latest things we are working on. Have a blessed day and keep smoking.